Stallions, and welcome to your news and announcements. It's Tuesday, April 21st, and I'm glad you're tuning in. My co-anchors are still asleep this morning. Hmm. Uh, we have two birthdays to celebrate today. They are Case and Chisnell and, ha and Shelby Yule. Happy birthday, guys. Hey, I want to give the fifth grade team a huge shout out for the awesome paper airplane video from this morning. It was such a great idea, and thank you for sharing it. Um, you guys rock. I appreciate it. It was really fun. Uh, I want you to check out these awesome PRE kids doing fun things and learning. Remember, I'm going to start featuring those Rube Goldberg machines that were built for um, our STEM challenge last week. So you'll see a video for one of those tomorrow. Um, you might have seen Grayson's Rube Goldberg that he put on today. It was very creative. He even put stops um, in there to um, make his machine work better, which I thought was a great idea. Um, we still want your pictures of what you're doing at home. I got a bunch of them yesterday, so thank you so much. We want to see your wonderful faces and your friends want to see you too. So send me your pictures. All right, here are a few announcements from our teachers. Hey, after school choir students, we are looking for you. Mr. Johnson would like to do a virtual choir presentation. And he wants to feature that awesome song that you guys were doing, Born This Way, and the wonderful dancing that you were doing as well. So please check out the video on the specials team padlet um, of Mr. Johnson showing you the dance. Um, video yourself doing this dance, singing that song, um, doing Born This Way, and then, if you'll please send me or your teacher that video, we're going to compile everything together for a virtual um, choir performance. Um, I know teachers, we're going to be sending out the information on how to get to the video as well. So you can check there if you can't get on from the website I'm going to post here. Um, or ask us questions. Ask me, ask Mr. Johnson, ask your teachers, and we'll help you. Um, I know teachers, a lot of you were practicing and um, getting ready to do the dance with the kids so we could support the after school choir. We'd love to have your videos too um, of you dancing to this song. So um, let's work, uh, work together and make an awesome virtual choir performance. It'd be a great idea. Um, Lego Club people, we're still posting some fun things on our um, virtual Lego Club. Um, Check out, we put a new challenge up this weekend about building some spaceships. Max sent me a spaceship before he even knew it was going to be on the Lego challenge. And I want to show you his cool picture of what he built. Um, the website, I have it displayed here on the screen. Please go check it out. We want to see your pictures and your fun creations. And even if you don't build a spaceship, 
post your pictures of the fun Lego creations that you're making at home. Uh, don't forget that you can still pick up your free lunch and breakfast from the school district. And lastly, we don't want you to forget about your specials team. We're posting fun things for you to do while you're at home. And I have a video about the STEM challenge I have for you guys this hey, week. everybody. In honor of Earth Week, I thought it would be kind of fun to build something um, out of recycled materials that could also maybe give me a yummy treat and my family too. So we made a solar oven. It didn't take us very long, but it was kind of fun. So there might be some different reasons for you to make a solar oven. You might be going camping, or maybe you're interested in learning about different ways to concentrate the sun's energy. Maybe you're interested in methods of cooking that don't add greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Or maybe you're just hungry. In any case, as long as you're patient and willing to move your oven where the sun is, you'll be re rewarded with some hot, yummy treats. Check out the pictures of us creating our solar oven and then enjoying the benefits.